Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the variable PWM generator using operational amplifier. Okay, so let us say let us say you want to design a variable duty cycle which can vary from 0% to 100% how you can design the variable duty cycle or changing duty cycle using the operational amplifier and some discrete components so the first question here is uh, why do you need the variable duty cycle okay to to answer this question let me start with one application let us say that you want to drive your dc motors DC motor and as you know that the inverse current of the DC motor is used and that may cause the failure of your MOSFET okay that may cause the failure of this MOSFET M1 so how will you protect this MOSFET with the huge inverse current drawn by the motor okay to solve this problem we need a variable duty cycle we need a variable duty cycle to start this MOSFET to start this MOSFET if you start this MOSFET with the duty cycle of let us say 10% and then gradually you will increase your duty cycle from 10% to let's say 15% 20% and then after some period of time you have completely opened your duty to 100% and and after that you will see the average in this current has been reduced so until now you have understood why what is the need of variable PWM generator especially for in the application of motor driving why do we need to limit the in this current and what is the what is the need of the variable duty right what is the need of the variable duty and now the question is how can you generate the variable duty by using some operational amplifier and the discrete components how you can design the variable PWM generator using op amps so let me explain this first and then later I'll run the simulation and I'll show you I'll show you how you are getting the variable duty at the MOSFET M1 gate and I'll also show the different voltage and the current waveforms at different nodes okay so let me start explaining this circuit and I have divided this circuit into two parts the first part I called it as a multi vibrator that is free running oscillator and the second part I have used is the comparator okay the first part is multi vibrator or free running oscillator and the second part is the comparator by using these two parts I am generating here the variable duty cycle which were which is varying from 0% to 100% if you look at this circuit here this is simple a operational amplifier and LT1017 if you look at this and this is the stable multi vibrator wherein you can calculate the free running frequency is equal to 1 divided by 1.5 times of r1 this r1 and c1 that is calculated value is 100 hertz 100 hertz okay and if you go and look at this basic circuit you can find in the internet anywhere in the internet this is basically a, a stable multi vibrator using operational amplifier i'll run the simulation and i'll show you what is the output of this stage a stable multi vibrator and what is the signal you are getting here and and after that if you look at here this is simply if you look at here inverting terminal is connected to 100k then output here you will see c1 value 68 nf then non-inverting is connected to this and if you look at this here you have i have connected three resistance r3 r2 r3 r4 and this resistance also r5 okay so this is basically a multi vibrator state and here what i'm getting here is i'm getting here the triangular signal that is why i renamed is a tri this is the triangular signal and this is basically a comparator if you look at the 
triangular signal i am fading to the inverting input of this u1v or other op amp and in the non inverting of this u1v what is you can see here i have given one one linear signal the voltage across this capacitors basically charge with the rate of rc r7 and R7, R7 and C2 with the value of 56 and 22 microfarad and to in order to discharge this capacitor quickly I have given this free wheeling 1 and 4, 1, 4, 8 and then this is I since this output of this op amp is the open collector so I've connected this to the VCC 18 volt I am fading to this circuit and if you look at this this is the pull down resistance and this is the MOSFET again this is the load which is motor let's say and this is the freewheeling diode of the motor now what I'm gonna do is I'll run the simulation and I'll show you the different waveforms right away so I'll go at simulate edit simulation command and run the transient analysis stop time is 2 millisecond let's click ok then go at run button and uh, go at window tile window vertically maybe and let me show you so let me show you the voltage here what is you getting so if you look at here if you look at here the output of this multi vibrator this is you can see the square wave that means this is the perfect square wave with the frequency of 100 hertz and if you look at voltage at here you will see you are getting here the triangular wave let me change the color for maybe probably red for now if you look at this the output of this multi vibrator here at output pin you can see it is square wave generating and if you look at the inverting terminal it is the triangular wave which is fading to the to the inverting terminal of this other op amp u1v this op amp okay so now let me show you this waveform first and let me show you how this voltage is ramping now if i do this and if i do this you can see here this is your triangular signal in red and that is how this is the inverting input this is the inverting input voltage of your inverting pin and this is the voltage at non inverting pin and that is how it is ramping up due to the charging path of R7 and C2 okay now what I'm gonna do is let me show you the the voltage at this point this is very important and let us check whether you are getting the variable duty or not this is your intention here and if you look at this here this is if you if i click here this is the time frame here is i see 0 0.5 second and if i look at at the end of this waveform this is 1.3 that means a 0.8 second i am ge i'm getting the variable duty and let me zoom and let me show you this one by one so can you imagine guys can you imagine your on period is gradually increasing here is very less here is quite more and if you look at this it is gradually increasing and if you look at somewhere here it you can see it is the 50 percent duty cycle and let me show you here at the this side and if you look at from here your on if you on time is is earlier what was earlier it was your on time is very less here now what you can see at the end of this your on time is very high and your off time is very less and after after this period you see you you have the hundred percent duty cycle okay and if you look at in between of this waveform you see the 50 percent duty cycle if you look at the initially you see on time is very less and you can generate the variable duty cycle in order to drive your mosfet or in order to drive your motor dc motor to limit the induced current of the motor okay and give to give the shop shop start to the motor this is very important if you want to design this circuit only using analog circuit this is the most commonly circuit you can use you can test and you can build your prototype okay okay and uh, this circuit doesn't require a more complexity like the microcontroller and all so it's a very simple analog based design if you want to use you can you can simulate this circuit you can analyze as per your your requirement so this circuit i haven't built 
I haven't built uh, the prototype and tested it. It's I tried with the simulation and for me it works very perfectly. So thank you guys for your time. If you have any further question on this topic, feel free to ask me in comment section. Thanks for watching this video.